Hey, it's Phoebe, and today I'm in El Nido. Nestled in the northern tip of Palawan here in the Philippines, El Nido is a tropical paradise renowned for its awe-inspiring landscape and pristine beaches. And in this episode, we'll be island hopping through turquoise waters and hidden lagoons, exploring the vibrant streets of El Nido town and seeking out the very best things to see, eat and do in this unforgettable location. Let's go. Everything I read about El Nido said if you are coming here, you have to go island hopping. And if you're going island hopping, you absolutely must book to A. People rave about it. So I have booked to A, we're doing it, we're gonna find out whether or not it's really worth it. Now I'm gonna be shooting this week's episode with the help of an amazing new camera, and that is all thanks to our incredible video sponsor, Insta360. They hooked me up with the Incredible X3, a waterproof 360 action camera designed for capturing immersive photos and videos. And I gotta tell you, it has changed my solo vlogging life. It has replaced my GoPro and the need for a drone all together. I'm obsessed with this thing. I'll tell you why, show you some of its cool features and the sick footage it's helped me capture a little bit later. But right now, it's time to board. I was using a GoPro for a very long time, but honestly, I found the Insta360 X3 is way better. It's easier to use, the battery lasts longer, it's compact and light, capturing beautifully stabilized footage in high quality up to 5.7K. Now, I love that it films in 360 because it's capturing every angle. That gives me more footage with less hassle. I just reframe it later in the app or on my desktop. Now my personal favorite features are the underwater capabilities for crispy shots like this. I've never been able to capture underwater shots like this before. I also love me mode because it keeps me in the frame on the go and I get really cool moments like this. And I love the way the invisible selfie stick just disappears from the shot. It's awesome. To say I am obsessed with this camera is an understatement. And funnily enough, I had wanted a new cinematic action camera anyway, and I had been looking at the Insta360 X3, and then they emailed me to ask me to test it out. And I'm so glad they did, because it's honestly an essential part of my kit. And I would recommend this whether you're a content creator like me, or you just love to travel and want to capture your moments the best way possible. Now I'll have a link below for you to check it out for yourself. We are on our last stop on the infamous Tour A and we're at the spectacular Papaya Beach. Now, when we were pulling out, we actually weren't meant to come here, but the captain said, if you look at the beach we're meant to go to, it is packed. Instead, would you guys be keen to chip in? It's 300 pesos for the boat. There's nobody there. And everyone was like, yeah, let's absolutely go to the secluded beach. And I'm so glad we did. It's stunning here. Now, it's it is really, really windy. <laughs> and I'm very sorry about that. Hopefully my road fluffy mic cover is doing its job and we don't have another Hong Kong dim sum cruise chaos incident. If you know, you know. <laughs> so how was the infamous tour A and did it live up to all the hype? It has been a pretty magical day. The, the scenery here is nothing short of spectacular. It's been extremely windy today, which I think has made the water a little rough. Um, and it made the kayaking for a lot of people a little difficult right now it's super windy 
but the scenery is absolutely beautiful. I think I'm spoiled because I just came from Quran and the boat tour was there felt a little more seamless in a sense, like everything just kind of pulls up, you're straight off the boat, it just feels a little like it has a bit of a better flow. This one's been a little clunkier but it's been absolutely fine. So yeah, do tour A. It was great. Um, I would have liked to have done tour C and compared the two. Never heard of anybody doing tour B. If that's you and you've done tour B <laughs> or you know of somebody that has, is there even a tour B? There has to be. Anyway. <laughs> If you've ever experienced any of the other tours, I would love your feedback. Please put that in the comments below because I would just love to know about it. But wow, this is a pretty spectacular beach. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. It's like stepping into the, the set of a movie or something. It's like, you know, you see stuff on Instagram and TikTok and you think that can't be real. It's real. And this is it. <laughs> For accommodation, I'm staying at Barco El Nido Hotel, and it's in the perfect location with plenty of great eateries within easy walking distance. The staff are amazing, and the hotel has a really light, comfortable, modern feel to it, which I love. My room has two bunk beds and can sleep up to four, so it would be really good for families. But I was able to book it just for one, and I found it to be really well priced. It's clean, comfortable, and cozy with a great amount of space, breakfast is included, and the Wi-Fi is fast. Now I'll have links below to Barco for you and a few other hotels in El Nido as well so you can find your perfect stay. That music is so loud. It is! Time for dinner and the food scene here in El Nido, it is awesome. I am loving it. I really liked Caron for all the outdoorsy stuff, all the tours, that kind of thing, but I didn't love the town. I just felt like there wasn't as much to do in the town. Whereas here, it's all about the town. There are so many restaurants, bars, cafes, shops, things to do in actual El Nido town. And we're gonna be exploring all of that tonight, tomorrow, because tonight it's time to eat and I'm starving. So we're gonna carve up. Um, I've come to Aubrey's now. <laughs> Sorry, the staff are watching me, they make me laugh. I've come to Aubrey's. Um, now, I believe this place is brand new. They haven't been open for very long. My amazing hotel team told me about it. It's all vegan. It is rare I look at a menu and I'm like, I can eat everything. But here, I can eat everything. So I had a really hard time deciding what to have. Um, started with some, like, uh, not spring rolls, but the soft ones, Vietnamese kind of rolls. Um, tried some gyoza and now a big old bowl of bolognese. I'm so happy about this. <laughs> oh, yum. Yep. That's good. <laughs> I say good morning, it must be about 12.30. <laughs> I slept in after all that water adventuring yesterday and I woke up this morning with a craving for a really good coffee. And the other day I had buzzed past a spot called Grounded on a tricycle and I was like, I have to go there. And I went there and I'm glad I did because the coffee was amazing. The inside of the shop is really cool. It's a little bit small, um, but it's air conditioned. You can watch the world go by kind of thing. And the coffee is amazing. Oh, and the chocolate chip cookies look great. But now I'm really, really hungry. I ate breakfast a long time ago and I have a real specific craving right now. So we're gonna, we're gonna try and see if we can get that sorted for me. <laughs> For lunch today, we have come to a spot called Big Bad Thai. Now, I first saw this <laughs> on Google Maps and it popped up and then it had like really high star ratings. Everybody loves it. So it's like, cool, I'll put that in the mental bank and maybe I'll go there at some point. Today, I woke up craving mango sticky rice. <laughs> I was like, I just gotta have a mango sticky rice. And I saw a photo of the mango sticky rice here and I was like, I need that in my life. It looks amazing. I've come here, I've ordered it, they took the order, they came back, they said, we don't have mango sticky rice. 
the face of devastation. <laughs> I look too happy. Oh my. I don't know how I look devastated about it. I look devastated. Actually, I looked very devastated in the moment when he came back and told me. I had a mini tantrum. And he was like, sorry, no mango sticky rice. I went, but that's all I came here for. <laughs> like he was going to be able to like magically conjure it up. Anyway, I've regrouped and I've ordered a green Thai curry. I've got some steamed rice. I've got a veggie option for my curry, but you know, they've got all kinds of meat options, of course. The menu actually looked amazing. Um, they had loads of stuff I would have liked to have tried, but this is what we're going with. Before we dig into that, I've also ordered this coffee. It's almost like a Thai style iced coffee. It's made with a condensed milk. Typically, I like my coffee just like coffee and like a little bit of oat milk. Um, so this to me is extremely sweet. Whoa, that's gonna put me on a sugar high, but it's delicious. Um, let's try this curry. I'll tell you right now, it smells amazing. You know when you get a good curry and you just get that waft of fragrance right off the bat. Let's get a fat dip of that green curry sauce on there. Immediately good, immediately good. Rice is cooked nicely, not bloody. The curry is beautiful. I probably should have ordered it spicier. You know I like my food spicy. So many good fragrant aromatics in there. Really good balance of flavors. It's perfectly like sweet, salty, a little bit of spice. That's really, really yummy. Now you guys would have already seen from the footage I've shown you, but the big draw card of coming to eat here for me, in addition to Thai food, was the beer. It is beautiful. You are sat up high at this bar. I'm overlooking the beach. I can see the water, the islands, the boats. It is gorgeous. My tip to you, if you're coming to Elnita, try and find spots like this to eat. Sit here, enjoy these water views, catch that fresh sea breeze. It is gorgeous. Siempre andaba buscando el amor de mi vida. Se acaba y se me rompe el corazón. Mi corazón El amor a mí me suena ya como un proyecto Te lo digo directo Pero tenerte a mi lado para mí es una razón Prendete Como un fili sé que ya estoy encendiéndote Y me relaja cuando sé que voy a estar viéndote Aunque sé que lo que diga es mentira Cuando tú me miras mami quiero estar comiéndote Como un fili sé que ya estoy encendiéndote Cuando sé que voy a estar viéndote Aunque sé que lo que diga me tira Cuando tú me tiras, mami, quiero estar cogiéndote after wandering around El Nido town for a little bit, I decided to treat myself. So I ducked into Rituals for their yin massage. It combines a little bit of sound bowl healing with a 60 minute relaxation massage. And it was so good. It was about 1200 pesos. Now I met a girl here, Sine, and she told me she was getting massages in Quran for 600 pesos. I can't vouch for the difference in quality or whether or not it's what I don't know. I had a great relaxation. 1200 pesos is actually really cheap in Australian dollars for a one hour massage. So I'm very happy with it. Um, but I've decided it's time to pump up the jam a little bit. <laughs> I did all the relaxation and now it's time to send my pulse rate through the roof. We're going zip lining. <laughs> How safe is it? Let's hope it's really safe. Um, this is it behind me. <laughs> We're going to be zip lining from here over to there. Now, it is windy today and they told me that they can only zip me one way. Um, maybe if I weighed over 80 kilos, I might be able to zip back, but they're concerns that with the wind, if you're under 80 kilos, you're going to get stuck halfway. And that's a problem. Um, to zip one way is 600 pesos. So let's do it let's zip one way and they've told they've told me i can bring my camera and everything with me and then we have to like walk along the beach or something i, I don't know what's going to happen i don't know how we're going to get back we'll figure that out when we get there for now it's zip line time and this i'm just going to say this this is where that insta 360 x3 is really going to come in handy you, you just watch you just watch <laughs> Que tú hablas con tenida, dice que estás en otro lado y te 
Estás en Carolina con ella Ahí viendo Netflix Las heridas ya no tienen fix Pero ve con ella Que te haga feliz Y después no vengas a decir Que te amo forever Alright, this is really nice <laughs> I was tempted to book another tour for today. I thought maybe I should book Tour C and like get back out there and do more island hopping and all this kind of stuff. Don't get me wrong, Tour A was great, but <laughs> you're in the boat with like a lot of people and it was kind of windy and bumpy yesterday and I had a great time and I'm so glad I did it, but I'm also so glad I balanced it out with doing this, which is just having some space, some time alone, to walk around by myself and organically find great spots and do the things that I want to do and sit and really enjoy the water. Really, really enjoy it because it is 10 out of 10 beautiful here. So after that zip line, I just wandered along. I've been walking along the front of this beach. What is the beach called? I'm not entirely sure. It could be, it could still be Los, Los Cabanas. <laughs> I'll Google Maps it and by the time I edit this, I'll have it on the screen, probably here for you. Um, but it is stunning just sitting here underneath the shade. Oh, you know I love a dirty can of Coke Zero. <laughs> My one true vice in this world. Cute boys and Coke Zero. <laughs> but it is stunning here. It would be really nice to like bring your swimmers and be kind of in and out of the water and sit along these great chairs that they've got. Eat your lunch here. Look at all the boats, all the islands. It's just spectacular. I actually think, or oh, yeah, I, 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 I've enjoyed today more than I, I enjoyed yesterday. Yeah, I'm glad I did the island hopping. If you come, you definitely want to do it. You should do it. It's beautiful. Had a great time, but this I've enjoyed a lot more. I don't know. I think sometimes when you're traveling, you know, your needs and, and what you feel like and what's aligned with you changes day to day. And today I needed some space, I needed some freedom, I needed my own time to just have that organic exploration and this is really scratching the itch for me. I don't really enjoy it myself. <laughs> Life is good. Yeah. This is awesome. Cabanas Beach is the place to come for sunset. I was just chilling around the corner and Mitchell, Mitchell, if you're watching this, thank you. Um, he gave me the best tip. He said, just come around the corner around 5.30. You want to get a seat on the beach, watch the sunset. You will not be disappointed. And he was absolutely right. Wait, my alarm's going off. So I'm in a place, I think it's called Sunset at Los Cabanas. Perfect name for it. Um, they have all these bean bags and little tables set up in the sand. You need to get here a little early if you want to see. Like somewhere between 5 and 5.30, it is packed now. If you get here anytime after 5.30, you will not get a seat. I've got just their home made iced tea and it's really, really delicious. Mm, but this is beautiful. I feel like I'm experiencing peak Philippines right now and an essential El Nido experience. I 10 out of 10 recommend if you do nothing else from this video. Make sure you do this. Anoche con spirit, también tus amigas, bebé, prendía sin senso. La cámara prendía, esto es rutina, bebé. Y con la eco que está en el estu. Corremos con ropa a mi casa de nu. Los cuas como un mic, parecemos un dúo. Yo si me da su. Once the sun goes down, the main street of El Nido, I, I don't know what it's called. On the map it says Sea Hama. I, if you know what it's called, please comment it below. I'll try and describe it to you, but it's, you can't miss it. It's the main street of El Nido. Once the sun goes down, this main street in El Nido comes alive. There are lights everywhere. There are kids busking with drums. There's all kinds of street food to try. So many restaurants. 
it is just beautiful. Even if you don't eat here, even if you're not hungry, please just come for a walk along the street because it's a real atmosphere. But we are hungry, so we have come to eat. Now I am here with my beautiful friend, Sana, but she doesn't want to be on camera and I, hey, we're all about consent on this channel, so she doesn't have to be. But <laughs> I'm laughing. Um, you'll see why I'm laughing in a second. We wanted to try some Filipino foods. So we've come to this place. I mean, what's it even called? I don't know. It starts with an M. I'll put it on the screen for you. Um, we ordered <laughs> We ordered some um, kinilo, which is, I believe, like a Filipino ceviche. We got some beautiful grilled seafood, and then... <laughs> so I was like, I'm just gonna get a little soup on the side. And it came out. And when the lady brought it out, I audibly gasped. I went, oh. <laughs> and she looked at it and went, oh my god, what is that? It is the biggest bowl of soup I have ever seen in my life and I've been to a sizzler buffet that is humongous that is huge I I don't know how to describe it to you but that is that's a lot of soup babe <laughs> that's a lot of soup <laughs> we're gonna start with the kinny law so I believe a local ceviche is it safe to eat raw fish here I'll find out I'm catching a long-haul flight tomorrow so let's hope it is kinny law beautifully ceviche <laughs> the fish is nice and tender it kind of melts in your mouth really nice and lemony a little bit of salt a good amount of spice in there freshness from the cucumber that is banging I like that sizzling I can't stop looking at that soup every time I make eye contact with it it's like it's like it's like a gigantic can you lift that <laughs> It's not just liquid, it's stuffed full of noodles. That's big enough for a family of like five. They should have a warning on the menu about that. This is, what kind of, it was just sizzling, spicy, mixed seafood. Sizzling, spicy, mixed seafood. <laughs> That's tasty. I really like that. That's nice. <laughs> That's really nice. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> I prefer the kidney lower though. She's made the start on the soup. Good luck. Oh wait, that's why they brought out this spoon. Oh, that's why. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> We've been here for an hour. It took an hour, an hour for the food to come out. And about ten minutes in, they presented us with that with a spoon, and we were like, "Whoa, what have we ordered? What do we need this family-sized serving palette for?" I see now. <laughs> I can see exactly what we need it for. I get the feeling that in the Philippines in general, food tends to take a little bit longer. You know, I had like a, an hour wait for my pizza in Bohol. Um, you said you were waiting two hours for your pizza here yeah. today, right? Yeah, and then this was like about an hour or so. So just be prepared for that. Don't show up to the restaurant super hungry. Time it so that you're like, oh, I think I'll be really hungry in about an hour from now. That's a sweet spot. <laughs> yeah. I am still laughing about that soup. I will never not get over the soup. I wish I had have had my camera out when the soup appeared. You guys just, oh, it's one of those things I wish I'd filmed. Sorry. All right, tonight is actually my last night in the Philippines. I'm flying out of here tomorrow. Um, I have to be up bright and early and you'll love this. I have a 20 kilo luggage limit that I need to achieve and I'm currently at 26 kilos. So what's about to happen now is I'm gonna go back to my hotel. I'm gonna panic for like a full 30 to 45 minutes and I'm gonna try and lose six kilos out of my <laughs> suitcase. I think I'm just gonna load my backpack up and like wear all my clothes, but sorry. <laughs> I have had the best time in the Philippines. I really have. And the thing is I feel like all three destinations that I've visited I've loved something different about them. Like in Bohol, I loved the hotel. That has been my favorite hotel. In Caron, I've absolutely loved the day tours. They've been my favorite day tours. No thank you. And here in El Nido, I have loved the town. It has been my favorite town. If I could combine all three elements together, it would be like a super destination. Um, but the thing that always stands out to me about the Philippines is the people. 
the hospitality is second to none. You just feel so welcome. I felt so safe the entire time. Filipino people just have a way of bringing you into the fold. <laughs> you just feel like you're a part of the community and you get as much into it, get, get as much out of it as you're willing to put into it. So the more you talk to people and the more time you spend with them, the more they'll involve you and I really love that. Now a few tips and tricks for El Nido specifically. This is a destination where you don't have to have a plan. You could show up here and only have your hotel booked. You could show up and not have a hotel booked. <laughs> and you would figure it out. Um, you don't have to pre-book any tours or anything if you don't want to. You can just wing it and see how you feel. If you do want to book stuff, I will have a whole bunch of links in the video description below for you. So you can click through and book the stuff I did and a few other things that I would probably recommend that you might like to check out as well. Um, I'll also have some links for you for the hotel I'm staying at and some other hotels that you might like to check out too. But. I definitely think you should add El Nino to your Philippines travel itinerary. I have had the best time here. I've really, really enjoyed it and I've kind of been blown away by just how beautiful it is. Um, and with that, that brings this week's episode to a close. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Now, if you don't already, be sure to subscribe right now so you never miss a single episode and say hello in the comments below. I hope you have a great weekend and I will see you with a brand new episode next week. Love you.